welcome to Royals at the Ranch for Thursday, May 11th, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. And this week I am so excited to share with you a very special project that I'm involved in with our Royals. In collaboration with Reptiles in Research, Sparse Holt University, the Behavior Education Patreon community, and Jay-Z's Reptiles, Many of my royals, as well as royals from these other organizations or private individuals, will be participating in an SPI study. SPI stands for Spread of Participation Index. This is a way to numerically measure spatial behavior from animals under captive management. It is used to study the extent that an animal uses all of the areas within its enclosure, in other words, it's a way to study enclosure use and it will allow us to be able to measure the extent to which royal pythons use elements of their enclosure. We'll be looking at what areas of the enclosures the snakes use, how they use their three-dimensional space, and we'll be looking at what features they actually prefer to use within the enclosures as well. We're in the process right now of working out with companies who have already committed to donating equipment to us, how to get that equipment here to our behavior labs so that we can test enclosure setups and then so we can package kits to send out to citizen scientists who will be participating with their own animals. The equipment not being donated such as various enclosure furnishings that we still need, surveillance cameras, and the finances for shipping and for cloud storage, we are going to try to crowdfund through GoFundMe. Now our SPI enclosure use study is actually part of a larger overall project called the Ball Python Deep Dive. And this is gonna study many aspects of Python Regis, both under captive management and in the wild as well as look at all of the studies already in the scientific literature about this wonderful species. So to find out more about this big umbrella project, check out the video on our GoFundMe page from Liam Sinclair of Reptiles and Research. He's gonna explain the big picture ball python deep dive. My main focus and my big part in that is this SPI enclosure use study. I would like to thank all of our current donors, which include Black Box Cages, Custom Reptile Habitats, Dubia Roaches, and ZooMed Laboratories for the equipment they have already sent us or already committed to sending us. And I wanna thank our future donors too, and that could include you. So check out the link to our GoFundMe page in the video description. And if you are able to help contribute to making this study happen, I encourage you to do so, but at the bare minimum, please share the information with everybody that you know in the entire world because royal pythons are the number one pet snake globally. And so this is gonna be very applicable worldwide and we are gonna have people participating and collaborating with us on this study from all over the world. Now, let me give you a sneak peek at one of our pilot enclosure setups. Now, this is set up for us to test basically what the test enclosure is going to look like. It gives us an opportunity to put one together and make changes before we set up the actual permanent test enclosures for the 20 snakes that are actually going to be in the study. Look at the test enclosure. Now this isn't the test enclosure we're using for the study. This is the test enclosure we are using as a pilot test enclosure for us to experiment with and figure out exactly how we want it to be set up for the study. Starting with a camera. So I've drilled a hole in the end of this enclosure and I've taped a surveillance camera to it. And I'm going to open this up so you can see inside. And if you look here to the right, you can see that's where the camera lens is shooting into the enclosure. And so let me go over the other enclosure features with you. I'll just take the doors off so it's easier for you to see. And I do have a snake in here that's um, a pilot animal. And that's an animal that's helping us get our logistics down for how we want to set up the zones. And Ellie Hills... Um, she's one of the UK researchers. She has done an SPI study before with corn snakes. And I've done a previous enclosure use study with Morelia Bradley, 
So we're kind of combining our knowledge and, and experience to come up with what we want to put in the enclosures and how we want the zone set up. So as of right now, each test enclosure, we think, when the study starts, is going to have a sky hide is, and is going to have a net. And those are two ways that we can give the snakes an opportunity to utilize the, the upper third of their vertical space. In the middle third of the vertical space, we are going to have a PVC perch covered with some vines to help it be more grippy. And then we're going to have a real branch going from one corner diagonally across to the other corner. And that's going to be sort of that middle third of their vertical space and give them an opportunity to utilize that. And then on the bottom level, on the cold side, we're going to have a black box cages hide. And that's what the water is going to go on top of. And then we're going to have a holy roller dog toy for an enrichment item. We're going to have a humid hide in the middle. And on top of the humid hide, each snake is going to be able to bring one familiar item with them from their old enclosure to help them feel safer and feel more secure and acclimate so the whole entire enclosure isn't strange when the animals go into the test enclosure. So uh, it's kind of like the luxury item that contestants on Survivor used to be able to bring. They were allowed one luxury item. Well, we're allowing our snakes one familiar item from their old enclosure. And in Barkley's case, I brought his rocks and I put those right there on top of his humid hide. So on the warm hide, we're gonna have UVB. We're gonna have a halogen basking light. And then underneath that, we are gonna provide a heat mat, which I haven't put into his test enclosure yet. The reason we are providing a heat mat as well as overhead heat is we want to determine if given both options, if the snake prefers one over the other, if they prefer the heat mat or the belly heat over the basking in the UVB. Now we, I have a tunnel in here for him. Instead of the tunnel, because ZooMed Laboratories has been delightful to donate some of the enclosure furnishings, we're gonna have the ZooMed Habit Hut here. But then behind here, we have their warm side hide. And then we're gonna have an intermediate clear hide that just adds another level. And then on top of that, we're gonna have a basking slate. And I think that's pretty much it. That's what we have set up for the test enclosure. Participants are gonna get a kit with all of this stuff in it so they can set up their four by two by two enclosure with all of this stuff in it. Everybody's gonna have identical fixtures that are being donated by ZooMed Laboratories. And the internal parameters as far as heating and lighting are going to need to be the same for all of the snakes in the study. And so depending on where participants live and the weather and climate in the different locations, the wattage of bulbs may need to be different, but we're gonna have the basking area all be the same temperature no matter where people and participants are. So that's what we're looking at right now. This is just the preliminary pilot set up. This could still change and look a little bit different when we get to the actual study because we're still experimenting with it a little bit. I'm very thankful to Black Box Cages who is donating eight enclosures and hides and it sounds like um, I need to talk with them about donating perch holders. Custom Reptile Habitats is donating enclosures as well as Dubia Roaches. So we're really, really thankful to those donors. I'm really thankful to ZooMed Laboratories for donating the fixtures and lighting and some of the furnishings. Now we do still need water dishes. We do still need the Holy Roller Balls. We do still need the PVC, the um, humid hides, the slate, and the warm side basking area hides. And so that is what part of that crowdfunding is going for, as well as the surveillance cameras. We still have to buy those for everybody. And this is the type we're going with. We can store the surveillance footage to the cloud, but we have to pay for cloud storage. So that is something that we are also trying to crowdfund because we're gonna have at least 20 enclosures with cameras set up on them, and that's a lot of cloud storage. So uh, that's just a quick overview. Um, keep up with our Royals at the Ranch series. Keep up with the Ball Python Deep Dive, and we will talk with you soon.
everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.